Hey Joe, it's folks here. Most people, when they decide to start a print on demand store, like literally when they get the idea that I want to start a print on demand store, they decide to go to YouTube where you are right now watching this video. And what do most people on YouTube say about print on demand? Sell t-shirts. That is what 90% of the print on demand content is about. If you have ever watched any of my videos, you know that I don't really recommend that. Most people, when they watch my stuff, they say things like, well, Joe Robert, that's silly, that's dumb. I wanna sell shirts. And then when they try, and they struggle and they don't make any sales. They come back and they say, print on demand is dead. It doesn't work anymore. In this video, I have a really cool product for you. If you're someone that was planning to sell t-shirts, this is for you. Stick around. This product is going to completely change your perspective on what is possible with your store. The year is 2022 and four, five, maybe six years ago, t-shirts were a great product to sell. Nowadays, not only have things gotten extremely competitive, but honestly, shirts are just almost too saturated for new sellers to actually break through. And print on demand as a business model has evolved way past shirts at this point. We have the ability as print on demand sellers to sell some amazing print on demand products. Not only things that are really cool and will get your customers very excited but also products that are extremely profitable for us and sadly if you don't want to adapt your store is likely going to be doomed for some dark days now I know what you're thinking which print-on-demand products should I even sell on my store first step go to the POD ninjas Facebook group there's a link down in the description inside of the group you will see dozens of print-on-demand product reviews that I have done in the past over the last few years print-on-demand suppliers have been sending me lots of products to review for for you guys and all of my reviews are inside of the group like I said there's a link down in the description so like I said in today's video I have a print-on-demand product that I want to show you it's one that I think people who are committed to the idea of selling t-shirts are going to have a lot of fun selling and honestly I think you'll have a bit more luck with this product and you'll make a lot more profit in the process now let's say you're someone that wants to sell t-shirts to people who love to ride motorcycles that's great the motorcycle niche is definitely very passionate but t t-shirts might not be the best product for them. And I know what you're thinking. Why, Joe? Why wouldn't t-shirts be a great fit for them? Don't every person in the world own a shirt or buy at least a few shirts every single year? That might be true, but with print on demand and what we're doing, there's going to be three things that are really going to hold you back, in my opinion and in my experience, if you plan to sell shirts. The first is just pure saturation. Look how many other people out there are trying to sell shirts to your customers. This is a problem for you because your customers are going to see you as just another shirt seller. They've seen it before. It's not going to get them excited. And then secondly, if you look here, there's only so many different ways that you can actually create a t-shirt design. Basically what I mean is every single shirt design out there essentially has this stacked quote type of design where there are a few graphical elements, maybe some pictures of the niche and things like that. And then there's a stacked quote from top to bottom, usually with some different colors and a couple of different fonts and when you look at the niche this is pretty much what everybody is doing it's very tough to actually become unique with this approach the second thing that's going to hold you back is the profit margins I mean the math simply doesn't lie here folks the most common selling price on a t-shirt is about $20 and in most cases after all of your expenses you are likely just gonna be left with a couple of dollars in profit and even if you price higher than $20 you're likely gonna have to choose a better quality shirt in order to justify that price increase, which means your costs are going to be higher and your profit is going to stay small. Basically what I'm saying is even if you create something awesome and make a few sales, which is hard, you're not going to make that much in profit. If you wanted to make $5,000 in sales per month, you would likely have to sell hundreds and hundreds of shirts to actually get there. The product that I'm going to show you today, you would have to just sell a fraction of that to actually get to 5,000 in sales. Now the third issue with selling shirts is the quality. I mentioned the POD Ninjas Facebook group earlier. Inside the group, on an almost daily basis, you see posts where people are complaining about the quality of the shirt sample they receive. And it's not just with one supplier. It's basically across the board. It's hit or miss. It's because of the way that t-shirts are printed. See, print-on-demand t-shirts utilize a process called direct-to-garment. I'm not going to go into the details about how this actually works, but it is not a great printing process. You're usually left with a design that doesn't look great, and if you throw it in the 
wash, when you take it out, the design has nearly peeled right off the shirt. And the product that I'm gonna show you today is printed with a different printing process. No matter how many times you wash it, it's always going to look the same and you're never going to have those quality issues that you normally have with shirts. So are you guys ready to see the product? I have a sample of it right here and I'm gonna show you it in one second. But first, I need you to help someone else out there. If you've watched this video this long, go ahead and drop a like on the video. That is just something really small that you can do to help the YouTube algorithm to recommend this video to more people and help more people get away from selling t-shirts. And honestly, it does help my small channel to grow. So if you do enjoy this content, it takes a little while to put together. So if you do enjoy it, drop a like. I really appreciate it. Thank you for doing that. Our product that we're going to be talking about today is an all over printed hoodie. I'm going to hold it up. I'll also show some close-ups as well so you can really see the quality here. But what's cool about this is the design is printed on every single inch of this product. You can see some examples of it here as you scroll through. It just gives you a lot more versatility when it comes to the design that you're actually creating. Contrast that with t-shirts when we're only really able to do some sort of a stacked quote design. The reason I gave the example of motorcycles earlier is because I recently came across this awesome design here. You can see that this is literally a very similar design to what you would normally see on a t-shirt with the fact that it has, you know, the stacked quote elements on the chest also on the back, but they've also taken advantage of the entire product by placing other elements in other places. You can see that the sleeves also have some really cool elements to them. There's a USA flag here. There's also a USA flag on the front. Essentially, because they chose a better product, they're able to create a much cooler design. When we talked about saturation earlier with shirts, doing something like this is going to allow you to kind of stand out and almost get people excited about what you have to sell. And then in terms of pricing, this store here is selling the product for $47.95. How much profit margin can you make on that? Well, inside the Printify app, if you have a Printify premium account, you can get this all over printed hoodie for just over $21. That means if you're this store here and you're only paying $21 for the hoodie and you're selling it for $48, you're making a decent amount of profit margin on it. And then earlier I talked about quality. The quality of this product is just simply not even comparable to to a typical t-shirt. If you look closely at the print here, you can see that it is just incredibly vibrant. And no matter how many times you put it in the wash machine, it's always going to look the same. And again, I'll spare you the details, but this is printed with a process called sublimination, which actually infuses the ink essentially in with the material. Again, I'll spare you the details because I'm not an expert. All I know is when I look at a direct to garment t-shirt and a subliminated product, I can easily tell the difference. And we looked at this store earlier as well, they're selling this product for $59.95. Not too bad compared to our motorcycle store, which is only selling it for $47. Basically, the point of this video is to say to you, if you're someone that is committed to selling shirts, pivot just a little bit, consider an all over printed hoodie. You can create way cooler designs, the quality is way better, and you're gonna make a lot more profit in the process. Basically, what I'm saying is if you're someone that actually does have the talent to create a design that people are willing to pay for, and you're successful succeeding with shirts, meaning you're making some sales, you're probably not profiting as much as you could. Take that awesome talent that you have with marketing your products and creating great designs and bring it to better products that are going to make you more profits and ultimately are going to lead to less customer complaints because the quality is going to be much, much better. If you're still watching this video and you want to see more print on demand products, like I said at the beginning, check out the POD Ninjas Facebook group. In there, I have a bunch of product reviews. Also, here on my channel, I have several videos where I walk you through some of the coolest print-on-demand products that are available to sell. And honestly, a lot of people that are just getting into print-on-demand aren't really aware that stuff like this is actually available. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts on the all-over printed hoodie? Is it something you would consider selling? And if not, tell me why. I'm very curious to know what your thoughts are on this product because I think it is so cool. I think it is a really nice option for those that are looking to stay inside of the sort of apparel type of product, but also want to sell something that makes them a little bit more profit margin. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.